Today we're gonna to learn how to make two different chicken dishes using two different types of pans. One sloped, one straight sided. So the different pans are used for different techniques. The sloped pan allows heat to escape quickly, evaporation to occur, and is used for quicker cooking. The straight sided pan is going to be used for longer cooking. So we want something made out of durable materials. They can be aluminum on the outside, but you want stainless steel on the inside for good heat conduction and for ease of cleaning. So we're gonna start our first dish, which is our sauteed chicken breast with a white wine pan sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of a neutral oil, just to, enough to coat the bottom. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna take the chicken breast and I'm gonna season both sides. Now that the oil is hot, I'm gonna take the chicken breast and I'm gonna add it in presentation side down first in the pan, which is the side that had the skin on it. Okay. The definition of saute is to jump, so that means we wanna use this for quick cooking items. Once I have that really beautiful golden brown on my presentation side, I'm gonna flip and get color on the other side. Once I've achieved color on the underside of the chicken breast, I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit so I can continue to cook the chicken without burning it. We know the chicken breast is done. I can either use a thermometer and temp it to just below 165, or I can use my finger and press and that chicken breast is firm, but not rock hard. Once I have the chicken out of the pan, I'm gonna let the pan cool down. I'm gonna add in my minced shallots. The white wine is gonna help us do a technique known as deglaze. And what deglazing is gonna do is pick up all that really delicious caramelization that we got on the bottom of our pan when we were cooking our chicken. Once that wine is reduced to almost dry, I'm gonna add in my chicken stock. And I'm gonna let that reduce by 50%. What I'm gonna use is about a tablespoon of whole butter that I've kept cold until I needed it. It's going to bind with the chicken stock to make a nice, thick, rich sauce. Just before I plate, add a little bit of fresh chopped parsley and then just that last little bit of sauce to finish off the plate. We started with a slope-sided pan. Our straight-sided is gonna hold our heat in and allow us to cook longer and in this pan all the way through. I'm gonna start by heating up my pan, adding in, again, just enough neutral oil to lightly coat the bottom of the pan. For this recipe, I'm gonna dredge the chicken thighs in just a little bit of all-purpose flour. This coating is gonna help the chicken thighs brown beautifully on both sides, and any flour that comes off into the pan is also gonna help thicken our sauce while these cook. I'm gonna place them into the pan, skin side down, I'm not at this point worried about cooking the chicken at all because it is gonna go into the oven. I just wanna get color. The other ingredients that we're using to build this dish, bacon, carrots and pearl onions, and mushrooms. Once I have golden color on both sides of the chicken thighs, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and set them aside. I'm gonna add in my cut up bacon. So now that the bacon is rendered, I'm gonna start adding in my vegetables. So once I have these cooking, I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced garlic. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna add in some brandy and flambe. We're adding in some base flavor to our braise using that brandy. And again, I'm, I'm letting it flame and cook down so I don't get that raw brandy taste to it. I just want that nice, subtle hint of that flavor in the background of this dish. Then I'm gonna add in my red wine, and I'm gonna let this reduce by 50%. I'm also gonna add in, while it's reducing, a little bit of tomato paste. Now that my wine has reduced by 50%, what I'm gonna do is add the chicken thighs back into the pan. 
The last two things that I'm gonna add to this dish before it goes into the oven, a sachet. So this is tied in cheesecloth. This is a classic combination of herbs and spices used in French cooking. This is bay leaf, black peppercorn, parsley, and thyme. I'm gonna add chicken stock just by eyeballing until it comes halfway up the chicken thighs. It doesn't need to cover them completely. Once this comes back to a boil, I'm gonna simply place my lid on, and then this whole pan is gonna go into the oven. It's gonna cook at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how big or small the chicken thighs are. For plating, I made some mashed potatoes, and then I'm gonna garnish with some fresh chopped parsley, and there we have our braised chicken. So the two dishes I made today are perfect examples of how to use two different kinds of pans. The chicken breast, which is faster cooking, a sloped pan, the chicken thighs, which take longer, a straight-sided pan.